right? I like the park. I know it is. It is necessary. It's not the same. All right. You ready? Um, as soon as I pull up the rundown. The rundown! I should have this shit memorized. I don't know. It's a nice crutch. Yeah. You're like a uh, tiny Tim <clears throat> with your crutch. Save it for the pod. <laughs> We call it warm up, warm up jokes. Ooh, I didn't. Can we do zip zap zap? Some improv games. Sure. All right, let's do it. I don't know that one though. I don't know. I don't. That's the one that everybody refers to because it sucks so bad. Oh, let's do it then. Zip zap zap. Let's do it. You ready? Yeah. Sweat Equity Podcast and streaming show, the number one. Beat you to it. Number one comedy business. And we're number one business comedy podcast in the world. Yeah. Pragmatic entrepreneurial advice with the real raw dog dog. Nah, Nothing? I'm not, no, no, you're not even going to give keep me a drop? responding to it. You're not going to give it me a drop? encourages you. I'll write a new intro in the new year. Uh, we've won some awards. I'm going to breeze by. We're the best small Don't medium. Breeze by. That's no big deal. Best small medium enterprise. Business Advisory Podcast in the United States in 2020 and 2021. We're also 2020. And 2022. And Fuck it. probably because it's a trophy scam. Uh, we're also 2020, uh, 2021's best podcast and streaming entertainment studio, Eastern United States Media Innovator Awards. 2021, hosted by Corporate Vision Magazine. Yeah, yeah. You're just saying, like, none of that made any sense, yeah? Listen to us on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, app, Spotify, anywhere you can listen, watch this podcast. You were, were podcasts are purveyed, or purveyed, or procured, sure, or distributed. I think those work, both work. All right. Nice. I'm in the zone. Purveyed and procured. Um, this episode is brought to you by our sponsor, uh, The Home. Gut intelligence tests and supplements. Uh, I think it's Viome. Viome? Jackass. Yeah. Vase, Vaz, who knows? You literally, it's gut uh, biome. Exactly. Right. Viome. <laughs> it's like the fourth word after the the name of the company in the read. Well, here's the deal, guys. Uh, here's the deal, guys. You want to find out about your flora and fauna of your gut and really uh, get your New Year's resolution going. I can't wait to send a stool Your sample, biome. a blood sample in. There's a 70% sale Hold all up. the way. It's blood? I thought it was poop. You can do some blood too, baby. Uh, 70% off. Of if you use the link in our episode description, we get the hookup. Holler if you hear me. You get the hookup of 70% off and your data is protected. It's not like it's just like uh, Ancestry or they just package your data and sell it off. To credit right. card companies and all stuff. your poop data but you really want to know about yourself you really want to get better as a uh, friend of the program max trailer said measure your results while you're hitting those goals get this gut intelligence test and supplement i can't wait to do this and uh and then be a hypochondriac about what yeah i don't know if it's a good idea for you yeah we'll see gotta get better Always getting better. Go big or go home. Let's get it started. Howdy, Tony. What about my sweat equity? Sweat equity. Sweat, 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 sweat equity. My sweat equity. My, my sweat equity. Sweat equity. What about my sweat equity? So, Eric. Yeah. We, uh, we, we, well, actually, we actually kind of have an agenda today. Oh, you know, geez, you're one of those people with an agenda. No, I like a little bullet point outline. Here's what we're going to tell you. We're going to talk. We're going to uh, continue the 69 uh, list. We're going to continue to 69. We're going to continue to 69. I wish I could if it didn't repulse me so much. Um, Pretty gross. Yeah. Pre- I'll fucking throw up and then do the uh, do the Ace Ventura single white female shower scene. Where you're sitting on the ground oh, yeah. crying? Or is that the crying game? I don't know, but I know what you're talking about. All I know is from Ace Ventura anyways. Right. So yeah, you people don't know any movie. I don't think people know the parody of that. Um, but, uh, you know, that's not very woke now that I think about it. Cause <laughs> oh, that whole movie is not, that's not good. <laughs> well, they go. Wokeness, that's for sure. They go, the hot piece from the 80s, Sean Young. Is that her name? I think. 
uh, who's playing the commissioner or something. Um, they're like, she's a dude. Finkel or Einhorn. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And then every the hemorrhoid. And then like 17 guys throw up. Right. Like right next to each other. Not super woke, if you ask me, but I'm fine with it. Uh, it's funny. That movie, by the way, has not aged well, if you watch it. Right. <laughs> no. We were just talking about it today. Really? So we can't wait for uh, the kids to get older so that they can actually watch it. Number two, Ace Ventura 2, one of my all-time favorites. Really? Yes. In ter- okay, if you're ever feeling down. The m- money grab, too. It's, it's, a mo- it's just all bumblebee just, tuna yes there's yeah. it's good from end to end and it's like one of those where if you read the script you'd be like this is stupid well look com- but jim carrey makes it comedy like your shirt design if anybody's watching on video what the hell does that suppose it mean? can it can get like it's like music it like can hit an era and then you watch it later and it's not great sure, then you watch cool. it a lot later and then you're like this is great because you ask us 10 years ago ace ventura Maybe not on the radar, you know? Right. But now you're kind of like, I kind of really appreciate it now because it is silly and we need a little silliness, right? Yeah, exactly. We need it. We don't need these undertones, overtones, whatever you want. What is, is it? It's overtones. Mm, yes. Yeah. Anyway, Proper tone. We don't need that uh, in so, the movies anymore. So we want to continue our grateful list uh, to everybody out there. Here's some cheat code sites, apps. Uh, websites, Chrome extensions, whatnot, and then maybe we'll we'll tease out doing a little goals, talking that out for for this upcoming year. We'll do that next episode that you and I. Uh, you know, you don't out. have to do that where you put these expectations on us now. Well, look, here's the deal. I want to now tease we it out. Do it. We got some pretty gangster stuff on this list about how to get some freelance help, how to get some research info, how to scrape data. Yeah, you know, business gangster. Yeah, stuff like that. Nerd gangster shit, yes, right? Yes, that's a good way to put it. So, uh, you know, everybody uh, hits us up about, like, I need to hire someone to do this. And we're at the point where we don't want to do a lot of that work. No. We're not thirsty enough anymore. Yeah. Thank God. Um, yeah. And so here's a bunch of freelancer sites. Uh, Upwork is kind of the main one if you do need, like, digital help, writing help. Right. Uh, anything businessy, one off stuff, though. You know, you don't want to make Upwork your go to. Like, oh, you know, I have an employee. They are on Upwork and they're random. Yeah. You know, like you want to have, you know, backup think, help. Think big picture or random project stuff. Right. Exactly. But if you need something Photoshop tonight, that's the way way to go. You know what I really like out of Upwork is getting the content writer people. You know, even though we talked about Jarvis AI that'll write your blog post for you and whatnot. Mm, yeah. But it, you still need a human to look it over. I, I like that it has the the rating system, so it kind of like Uber. It kind of kind of evens it out on both sides. You know. Right. Yeah. And some hold people, them accountable. Some people are more expensive than the others. You can see some of the work. It's good. Uh, Upwork is solid in a pinch. Uh, here's some other ones. Design pickle. You want unlimited design each month, month to month subscription? I, you know, it's now, awesome. Is it? But is it great design? Right. Probably not. I don't like the idea of what they're doing. Uh, well, the customer's always right. You can have unlimited designs. Yeah. What does that really mean? Right. Gonna, At a certain point, you're stupid. I remember uh, your ideas I, for your logo. I used them one month. Uh, I just didn't really. The design was a little bit um, outdated to me. And maybe we're a bit snobby on that stuff, but... No, we're not. But I mean, like, I some think... people don't care. They just need a flyer made, right? Sure. And they Or they continually need uh, stuff made that they don't care about design that much. Right. Um, not and, for your like, company logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know? Don't like, do that. It's um, just... Logos are, are way more difficult. Um, but I'd say, like, you just need your, your run-of-the-mill flyers... Um, you know, email templates, uh, graphics, Mass mailers, yeah, stuff like that. Um, and then another one that is like a sister company almost, but they're not related is Panda copy, unlimited copywriting month to month subscription. Pretty legit from what I understand. Real people, real people doing it. Real pandas, not pandas. real pandas. Um, so let's see. It's all about fucking bamboo again. Here we go. Uh, crew. The which, bamboo. There's a site called Crew. Uh, we used to look at them because they used to have calculators that would tell you how much digital services should mm. cost. Remember that? Yeah, that sounds cool. 
Well, basically, they aggregated oh, like calculators. 100 agencies to get like what the price of a website should be, how much should a video cost. So they kind of pulled all these people, all these agencies together to get what, what the true cost should be. Dr- dribble with three Bs. Uh, Fuck you, Dribble. Three but, Bs. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, no. High, not doing it. Highfalutin B. Not what, doing it. What do you think you are? And your basketball no. logo? Pfft, forget about it. But uh, Dribble it bought them up. You can hire high-quality freelancers on crew. A lot more design-heavy, but I like it. Um, it's a crew with four Ws at the end. <laughs> um, Lancer List is – uh, I'm done. A freelance uh, rate calculator. If you're like, how much should it cost to really get a quality freelancer? This uh, Lancer list will put on. Uh, we'll put the link uh, on the website. But that that should tell you because everyone's like, I don't know how how much does this shit cost. Right. It's it's wild. Uh, does it do by geography? Well, uh, quality, price, delivery, and flexibility. QCD plus F. Okay. Uh, though that's the constraints you work with, right? So we always used to say like, but no on the geography. You don't. Well, know. geography kind of matters in a sense if you're like, I want an English speaking person. If it's a lot of words, yeah, you know, or like, I guess if it's all digital, it doesn't. Yeah, really matter. but you don't want like English as a second language kind of thing if you're doing you know copy of any kind, right? Because Again, that, with that, the bamboo, that's a nightmare. Yeah, the fucking bamboo, and then service list. This is the list of unlimited services lists. So you want to find your design pickles, your uh, your what panda copies. They have lists of all all these kind of unlimited month to month. Oh, well, we can just stop podcasting then. Just send them to that shit. Well, that's for the freelancer section. But we got research. We got website tools. We got oh, some, look at you with some the little headings. Yeah, I know, right? We actually prepare on your spreadsheet. That the, I started. Do you uh, you want to take some or you? Not re- I didn't come up with this list. I mean, I can read it. Hit me with uh, Hunter. What, what do you think about find email addresses in seconds? Yeah, so you put in a domain, you can find uh, emails. Emails. Of How people. is that different from uh, Seamless AI? You, well, Seamless, you got to pay for, right? Okay, so that one's free. Why is it worse though? Um, why is it worse? Hunter. I Hunt- mean, there's something it's not doing. Hunter, Hunter's a free, it's free, a freemium pretty much, but you can get about a hundred uh, emails if you just put the domain in there. Um, so domain of any website, you're trying to look for someone to contact them at a company. That's a good free service. Seamless, you've been messing around with lately. Um, pretty legit as far as like, it's an AI software. So. Right. It's pulling from, I mean, mostly I think LinkedIn is where if you go to a, if you go to a website, it's going to refer back to their LinkedIn website reference page, and then it's pulling everybody that's listed as uh, working at that company. So It's like the end of Dark Knight. He's triangulating all yes. the signals, and they're triangulating data, essentially. But it's also magic- it's pulling from social media and all this other shit, and it tries to get as much as it can, but like you can get cell phone numbers sometimes, not very often. Lots of times you're getting their at best office like work extension but but still i've you, seen cell phone numbers that i know are legit that should probably not be accessible if you do any business yeah. development marketing sales what what be it or you just really need to get a contact somewhere like these tools will help um clearbit connect on gmail this is for gmail only but that one will give you uh more contact information about people you're emailing with mm. which is pretty nice Noise. It's like a private detective for your email creeping. Speaking of LinkedIn, uh, the Chrome extension, we I think we've mentioned on previous shows that I'll tell you the psychology behavior of LinkedIn users, which is pretty awesome. Is uh, it's called it's a Chrome extension called Crystal Nose, and it'll it'll like I did some spot checks on your profile, my profile, a few other people I know pretty well, and it was like pretty goddamn spot on. What did it say about me? It said, uh, "What did she say?" You're Crystal, secretly, what did she say? you're, you're secretly a pog smuggler. Um, you've been smuggling pogs since the '90s. Uh, you like to gamble mostly on pogs and Magic the Gathering. Dead, dead nuts on. Shit. Boom. Um, speaking of so LinkedIn, fucked. one that's right in front of everybody's face that is a powerful premium tool they have is LinkedIn Sales Navigator. That shit's awesome. If you have like. Hey, I'm going to, I've got a hundred people. We were just talking about this off air. A hundred people surveyed. 
I was like, you can look at this. There's a local list I was telling you about that you can find every high-end person you're trying to target. And then you could put it in LinkedIn if they have a LinkedIn account. And you can really kind of get granular on their data. Or I've used it where I'm going, I'm searching for small law firms to target either the owner or the principal or the partner um, as as a potential customer for me. You know, uh-huh. like you can get that narrow or you can go, I want to I need to target CEOs that are 11 to 50 employee size. Doesn't really matter, you know, what industry or you can get specific. So it's people, a Chrome extension or is no, it? No, so, oh, Sales Navigator. No, that's like it's like eighty bucks a month. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. It's not free. That sounds expensive. But it, you know, people go, oh, eighty bucks. That's a lot. But it's like, yeah, you make one sale. You you're right. Cover I know that for, oh, for so many people, it's worth it. But there is that barrier in their brains. It's like I don't pay for nothing. And if you got desperate like me in the COVID lockdown, you send videos to introduce yourself because I couldn't meet any people and I was doing business development stuff. That Waist did. down only. Yep. But I, I'd send them a video. Hi. And I had a good this success rate. Be. Instead of sending some bot message or something, you know, you could take five minutes and write everybody. Sure. Or I just got into a gang tape of just filming the same 30 second pitch with different names. Um, Oof. yeah. I'd like to see that B roll. Uh, acting like you're on the spectrum. <laughs> Well, you know, hey, it, how's it going? Like how's the first it? 10 were rocky, the next 10 were good, like because I got some reps in, and then diminishing returns after that, like right. all garbage. And the booze kicked in, wore myself out. Um, owler, owl, like an owl, hootie hoo, an owl, owl with an ER is uh, <laughs> hootie hoo, hootie hoo's and the gangsta in the in, in the AT aliens, they do. Um, <laughs> give me shot, bro. This is a community-based uh, competitive insights platform. So you really can look up uh, your competition and kind of make triggers to get competitive insights and stuff. Pretty high-level stuff. We're, get, we're getting into some – Which big, one did you say? I'm sorry. A- Owler. A- That's the most – okay. O- O-W-L-E-R. So we're getting, we're getting into the research, the hardcore research territory here. Um, so it's it? business intelligence research. Um, next on the list, that's kind of like a, you know, alternative to that is pipe candy where you can find insights on like, what does it say? 5.4 million plus online retailers. And what you really do with that service is you build lead lists, research companies, uh, Find better data, you know, more reliable, relevant data, mm. and really benchmark against competition. If you've got a product to sell, You're right, great for that. Perfect, right? I mean, that's where you can just—that's a cheat code. Um, Statista, I, I've used before to pull like really easy. Think like USA Today infographic-y uh, stuff, but with reliable stats. I was just on that. Yesterday. Yeah, it's solid, right? Demographic viewership of TV in Milwaukee. I had to write business I know it. business plans a couple of years ago for some clients, and I just I paid for that. It's a, it's a little expensive if you're kind of really small. It's like six hundred a year, I think. Right. But if you're writing business plans or doing or doing this thing where you need some data to back up whatever argument or you know angle you're making, mm-hmm. pretty solid. Or you just want to get some real reliable right, macro even stats. just for yourself. You don't even have to, you know, be presenting it. Yeah, in a day of uh, misinformation, disinformation, and what to rely on, these are kind of the high quality ones. Like Forrester Research is another one that's similar to that. Really expensive. So if you're kind of a uh, you know mid medium sized business, you can afford it, uh, and you have to get research done. That's the best thing, especially if you're a content writer. You got a content team. Boom. That's your like your go to for everything. Right. Um, Stuff you don't know about, complicated uh, things, rocket science. Now we talked about Clearbit Connect for Gmail. That was the extension that'll pull more info on who you're contacting. Uh, Clearbit has enrichment, which is uh, full con. Um, what does that say? Full uh, context. Sorry, I wrote, I wrote these as I was driving over here. Full context on. Every lead, contact, and account to drive conversion and insights at scale. So basically, you want more uh, information on your leads. You want to convert them. 
You got to do a little uh, do si do. You got to schmooze a little bit. Don't have to hire a private investigator. Yeah. Just, Which uh, actually uh, wouldn't be a bad idea if you really had like f- five high end targets you need to oh, like sure. win over. Um, yeah. Uh, data, datausa.io. We may have mentioned this on the previous episode. Pretty sure we did, but it's dope. But um, we've got extras on Because I was on that one too yesterday. So it's just a prettier version of the census data. Deloitte Consulting just goes, we're going to take this ugly census data the government spits out and yep. make it look good. Yeah. So if you need to look up what's the population size of this, what's the breakdown of the job market in this city, in this mm-hmm. state, uh, it, it's really... Uh, Doesn't do a lot of ages. No, no, no. Age demographics. It's not going to give you, I mean, census data. So it's, it's going to be kind of limiting in that way. But if you need some kind of broad strokes, kind of uh, stats on something, on a city or mm-hmm. a state or a county. You know, I would say it's beyond broad strokes. It, it drills down pretty far. It drills down. I'm but just like, saying that but like the when, age demographics <clears throat> are not available. Right, because they break it. If they break it down by age, it's really wide gaps of uh, age range, right? Like some of them would be like eighteen to forty-five. Sure. You're like one to a hundred. What, what does that help? Um, blap. We we. Blap, blap. I feel like we almost wish this to be a thing, and then the next week it was a thing. The episode we had with Rayla uh, Rayla Martin uh, a couple months back, and we were talking, and I was uh, kind of apologizing for not being sensitive to the black. Uh, black culture. I, I remember guess, writing a joke. Um, blap. Like literally the next day, I saw a comedian uh, repost about another comic that made this app where you can search for black-owned uh, local businesses and or uh, online retailers. Yeah, the name. Blap. The name. Well, what I'll, do you think of the name? I'm fine with it. I mean, it gets the point across. You're just scared because Rayla. No, no, God, I no. I had her. We had her on. I was like, I know. Yeah. Um. No, we're buddies. We made out a long time ago. It's fine. Did you? Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. Anyway. Um. What were we talking about? Blap. 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 So if you want to, uh, if you really want to do, you want to be proactive and actually try to help black-owned businesses. That actually, I've used it to kind of. Look around and see. It's legit. It's got a lot of stuff listed. It's not like it's like a crusty comedian made it while he's sitting in a motel. You know, it's a legit app. Um, Good. I mean, we're talking about it, so I hope it is. Uh, these links will be in uh, on the site, but HubSpot, if you need it, this is kind of miscellaneous, but dude, email signatures fucking suck. <laughs> yeah. They suck to make. They're limiting. It's so weird. You, you can only use like eight fonts. You can only do, there's like, because there's so many email clients like Outlook, Gmail, um, you know, Hotmail you got, Yahoo, yeah. the, like AOL. Hotmail. But so for in order your email, you want a cool email signature, but it's so hard to program a good one that uh, HubSpot has a free email generator that gives you like eight options to choose from. Yeah. Easy to like put into Gmail yeah. or Outlook. Put your name, put your title here. Instead of having to get someone to code it for you and all yeah. that shit, that it is a nightmare. Um, it's so weird that that's a problem. It, it's it, like, oh, just put your name and your phone number. No, it's not that easy, fucko. Well, because email was kind of like, you know, email websites kind of came around about the same time, right? So it's like, but websites progress, whereas email, like, you kind of have to go lowest common denominator yeah. on design and, and, and ability. Yeah, we got this. Email's um, good to go. We don't need to improve it anymore. Uh, HubSpot also has, uh, we'll put this link in there too, uh, creative brief templates for marketing campaigns. People overstep. They want to get a campaign going or they want. They go, we got we to gotta market out there. We got to get it out there. And they don't really plan the creative very well. Yeah. They skip over it and then it's shit content yeah that tiny creative. thing that's kind of your whole job right so that that'll help you kind of almost like a paint by numbers like walk through everything yeah hubspot's got a lot of good free stuff because they want to they give it out because so they have so much fucking money yeah what from what, charging for what the, do we used the, to pay 58 grand a year for it right <sighs> for i mean this is but it does everything um right. it literally is the, the all the company with 50 employees right think um, about that uh yeah. Uh, one one of my go tos for S- right SEO info, and they have like he has a like a five minute podcast that'll kind of give you updates on you know what to do SEO wise or just in general digital marketing. Uh, Neil Patel, 
uh, is kind of the leader in all SEO stuff, but also anything digitally marketing, like strategy mm. tactics Name wise. Checks out. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Um, John Loomer, I, I put that one on there. If you need Facebook ad resources, Name does not check out. You're trying to boost a post and you're like, what? Why is this working? And really, Facebook doesn't have good info on that. Uh, John Loomer's been my go to for like 10 years. I'm like, he'll. He'll give you the. I, I want like an autistic guy. You think that's his real name? I don't care. I, did, I, I know, but I'm asking. He. Do you think? But it I seems want, like a fake name. I want a dude with like Aspergers that like him for all like knowledge based stuff I need. You know. Yes. Like he's been writing his blog for free. I want a human in- infographic. And then now he has classes and stuff. You can get certified under him and all that. All that junk. Mm. Uh, Reddit. We put on here one of those under your nose. Kind of uh, places. It's not all trash and QAnon shit. No. Reddit is... Um, you sent me a good data visualization thing. There's always... that's Well, that's the subreddit. Data, yeah, you, data is beautiful. Yeah, you really got to like get your subreddit game going. That's where, yeah, that's where you can appreciate it. Because people go on Reddit for the first time and they're like, what is this? And, so and the- you're just seeing the... The hot posts on Reddit with stuff that's just getting upvoted, which is you know likes basically, mm-hmm. and they see all this shit. They're like, I don't, I don't like this because it, it's so random. Really, like there's there could be anything on there, like happy stuff, sad stuff, news, whatever. Yeah, I like, and it overwhelms people. I like today. I learned or shower thoughts is good kind of non secular yeah. stuff. Um, Ask Reddit. That's a great one. Talk to me just, like I'm five. That's that. That's money. Everybody should be on that. Um, explain it like I'm five. So just like anything, any online community, I feel like that community, as many negatives as it has for trashing celebrities and a bunch of other stuff, it does do, it does have a lot more good input. You just kind of have to filter through that. Yeah. You can get some good, um, comedic comments, good memes. I mean, you know, I love to play the game where I see a post and I'm like, all right, what's the number one joke comment? Try and play it out in my head. And it, Lots of times beats what I came up with in my head. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pretty witty, it's like, too. Yeah. yeah. Then you think about the nerd who probably wrote it. It's like, you would never say that out loud in front of other people, but. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Um, you know. Com- pretty good. Heavy commenters on there. Not To me, not <clears throat> probably the the, uh, the life of the party crowd. Right. Um, uh, this one's cortical. And this one's. Oh, so we're now we're getting into website tools. You got a website. Everybody pretty much has a website or multiple websites. So here's some like real easy, mostly free tools. Um, Cortical, you can extract keywords out of your competition's website. Ooh, See their SEO value. Take that. Uh, Bird Eye Business Scan. Uh, you know, it's kind of a gimmicky thing they have on their site. So they'll scan to your online reputation, like your reviews, all the negative stuff said about your business online separate from what they do normally right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. okay my go-to for uh like a website checkup like hey is this website dog shit does it perform like shit is tools.pingdom.com we may have mentioned this in the last Definitely. episode I might have mentioned it twice i don't know. well it is like literally anybody that's like hey can you help me like audit my site or something like tell me what's wrong and just like i immediately go there every time yeah there's actually i got distracted the other day i was looking up something you? there was like a google page speed so thing that's that's been around for a while for developers i don't really like it because google i don't know they kind of tailor their shit towards them right i, I so that's why i like what do they know 97 percent of all search traffic why listen to them no but I, i'll do them as well but i i'll go to tools.pingdom because it kind of lays out uh Like, hey, your images are too heavy. Maybe reduce the size of those and that'll help. Um, XML sitemap. If you want to get like, you know, any website, you can go on, uh, you can type it in on XML sitemap. It'll give you like, here are all the pages and here are how they're ranked in within that website. So home, about, content. That's cool. The ranking part is cool. Yeah. I mean. Gives you an idea. If you have no, you're like, how many pages should my shit be? Or, you know, what is my competitor doing? How, how are they kind of setting everything up? That'll kind of help. Um, what works for them? Website calculators. Uh, calculoid.com if you want a website calculator. 
Oh, yeah, I've been on there. Those are fun. That's where you can build your own calculator. Right. Anything, if you're in a service business that bids out or you do custom bids and you're like, God, I have to do this manually on, you know, on the phone or video call every time, like this would be a good tool to have on your site to kind of tease it out, get their info. Yeah. Let people do their own playing around with it. Yeah. You know, jack up that price a little bit, you know, on the website. So this is a little gangster tool, MaxMind. MaxMind, if you have someone's IP address, right? If you want to go on IP Chicken to see your own, you want to see your own IP, you can go to IPChicken.com. But you can can take an IP address, put it in MaxMind's homepage uh, search, and it'll give you info on that person's IP. Pretty creepy. Info. It'll uh, be like... uh, Location, sure. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What else? Like the internet provider... Uh, a bunch of other stuff. Not nothing too granular. But I was gonna say anything useful. If other you're, than if the you're like, if you're like, I see someone logged in to your website. I can see the IP address, but I don't know who did it, who went in there and fucked stuff up. Mm. I've had to use it that way. Oh. Or you have visitors to your website, and you just are curious. You want to try to see, you know, where they're actually sitting when they're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting stuff. A little look. This is getting a little nerdy, but yes. you got to expect that. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? Um, site credit. I'm gonna. These three are. <laughs> well, get ready for this one. These three are about the same thing. Site credits. Termly.io. Getterms.io. You need that legal mumbo jumbo for your website. Privacy policy. Terms and conditions. Cookie policy. Snoring cricket. Now here's the thing. I'll here's I'll sell it this way. You don't want to be vulnerable on your website because you can be held liable. Right. For certain things. It is like a it is almost as it's intangible as an asset, but it, it can really have repercussions if you fuck something up selling a transaction on your site or or taking people's data and accidentally losing it or something. Oh sure. So yeah. You're, Protect yourself before you wreck yourself. Ooh. Uh, We're slick, bring the nose up on it. Slick plan, uh, like XML sitemap, but better. It'll pull in any website and give you the, uh, a visual map of the site. Yeah, we definitely talked about it, but we didn't talk about that aspect of it. Yeah, which I like. If you're, start, if you're like, I'm going to do a website refresh, you put your old site or your current site in there. And then you go, okay, I'm going to start messing around with the org tree of every page. Right. No, for me, that's great. That's how I like to see it. I'm that's vi- how I can make sense of things. I can I, give vi- me one big picture so I can see everything right there, and then I'll go from there. We're both very visual. That's why yeah. we paint each other in the news. Yes. Um, in what, if you want to rip YouTube videos, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got the site for you. Clipconverter.cc. Yeah. Did you know you could do that? Yeah, dude. Pretty gangster. I don't know how that works. Like how that, that site's been around for, I feel like 10 years. Yeah. And you can rip almost any YouTube video. I mean, you can screen record it. You could, but this one will give it to you like MP4 format. It does it like a couple minutes, you know? Well, I mean, you know, it's honestly, I think it's weird that it's like a gangster thing to be able to, cause you can go on any website and download any of their pictures, any of their, all of it. Not not always, but but a video. But I, most of the time. But you, you feel like it. YouTube would have like real security on that. I feel like they have some pretty hard security on it. No. Yeah. Um. Here are some miscellaneous. That's your reaction. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm trying to I'm trying to uh, lightning round. I don't give a shit. Uh, book funnel. You wrote a book. Now what? You got to kind of sell funnel that. Funnel a beer. You got a funnel, but you got a butt funnel, book funnel. You brought the butts. So you, to it. You, if you've written a book or uh, something that's like a book and you want to sell it, um, that's going to help you kind of on the business side of that. Uh, binder with a Y. You have digital assets. You need to put them somewhere. Dropbox ain't cutting it for you. Um, you want a visual kind of asset management tool. That's a really good one. Shaker, I don't think we talked about. Um, I remember talking about it. I don't think it was in... Was it in? No, it was in this. And I was like, promo.com is like that one we used to have. And, oh, yeah, and I was like, duh, 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 duh. And you were like, Shaker, that's it. And then, yes, so we sh- did talk about it. Shaker without an Why E. Why I remember that. Shaker without an E, S H A K R, Korean company. But if you make any kind of videos for ads or, or just content in general, 
and you want to you want to get that thumb stop kind of template. Uh, that's what I really like, and then it'll kick it out in every like size iteration, mm-hmm. opt- optimized. You know, so it's you got the Instagram version that. Right. Converts better. You can do it on stories uh, in this kind of vertical version. You can put it on Pinterest, all that stuff. So, and it'll all be matchy matchy. Um, hello, PDF. This one's for you uh, boomers out there. You need to convert something to PDF? Hello, PDF. Boom. That's it. That's the read. Um, flippa.com. You want to buy and sell dolphins businesses, Damn it. online businesses. This is some pretty. Uh, uh, um, Sounds like a lot of work. Scrooge McDuck kind of stuff to me, but you know, right. <laughs> you got some disposable income. You might be able to buy and sell or, or just sell your stuff on there. Uh, you know, you might have a business that you're like, hey, I'm gonna, I need to cut bait and just try to sell, find the marketplace to sell it on. So that that might be a good tool. And then for you nonprofits, charities, and uh, um, you know, you know, the altruistic kind of kind of entities. TechSoup.com gets you discounts if you're legit like 501c3. You have to show that accreditation, but you get hooked up on software discounts and like uh, resources. How about GuideStar.org for 501c3s? What's where that? That will show you how, where their money goes. Oh, they make this I much money. That. This is what the CEO makes. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's upsetting. Most of the time, <laughs> most sure. of the ones you put don't. I mean, you want to get real fired up? Put Susan G. Komen in there. Ugh. Yeah, we we it's gross, were, we dude. were part of that problem. Um, they're about awareness and not research. It's so weird. Uh, it's and like suing people. We, yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Very litigious. Yeah. I mean, I went to their headquarters in Dallas when we did a comedy tour for them in 2010, and it was like, you're in the LBJ building in Dallas, like. The, one of the more prestigious ones. Like, I don't even care if you get free rent there. Um, right. It kind of yeah. sends a bad message. You guys should be like outskirts. Yeah. In like a shitty be office. Humble. Um, but like definitely had like a badass office too. Like, Ugh. like real hooked up. Because those donations. Because of all raise the, awareness. All the huge, like a Forbes 100 corporate sponsorship stuff that was in there. I was like, Hmm. This doesn't smell right, but I can't say anything. Um, so that's our second 69ing list. We might do another one. I know we have more, but uh, goals. Let's tease it out. We we're kind of talking no, about it. We'll do well, it. Well, we're going to write them. We're going to write them. This is the good time to do it. I like doing it like, you know, between Christmas and, uh, and New Year's Day, right? I was going to say St. Patrick's Day, but fine. Sure. Well, whenever your New Year's starts, that's fine. 80% of New Year's resolutions – don't make it to February. Sure. Yeah. I looked that Sounds up the other day. Sounds so fucking made up. I looked it up the other day. Oh, you looked it up, huh? I had to for a client. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things where I saw you show me what you were writing down. And I do the same thing. I, I write like, I want to not feel like shit in the morning, every morning. <laughs> like, Yeah. Like, and Okay. And then I'll write out like, what? okay. what is, it doesn't have to be a smart goal. Not yet. When you're just starting it, right? A lot of people have trouble just starting. Right. And you don't have to do 20 like a psycho like I do. Yeah. Well, just, you know, f- start with the feeling you want to feel at the end. I want to feel this. Or I, I kind of start. And work your way back. I start at the pro- like a problem. Like I wake up every morning like Jerome Bettis after a game day. Like I feel like crap. Right. So you want to not feel like crap. Right. And then I'll kind of reverse engineer. Now reverse engineer it. And then it might be like the actual goal for the year would be like, I have to do at least 20 minutes of yoga. Kill Jerome Bettis. 20 minutes of yoga every day. Yes. You 20 know, minutes? Yeah. Some days could be an hour class. You know, some days could just be 20, but it's about like consistently kind of making myself stretch. Yes. Like I yeah. did the push up thing uh, where I did 34,000 push ups and sit ups last year or this year. Ooh. And that was for now me. Now I see why you wanted to talk about it. No, for me, that was like, I need to be more consistent, and there's no reason I can't do 100 push-ups and sit-ups a day, you know? Yeah. Some days as far as workouts go, I don't know how No, it's a very baseline. It, was, it takes 20 minutes tops, you know? Yeah, no, I know. Um, You're burning calories. 
So, oh, but it's going to look weird. But though. really that, that one, that fitness goal was like, I need to be just more consistent in general. Right. That's, that was kind of right. under that heading. Yeah. Part um, of my, I got to st- get back to stretching good too. I haven't been near, I mean, I used to be every single day. I was, didn't even think about it. So yeah. So take the, like the problem to fix and kind of like, what do I want to do? And like, that won't really be the goal. Necessarily. Honestly, stretching should be on everybody. Okay. So, list. but to make it smart, because it won't work if you go, I just need to stretch more. Right. Yeah. So it's like, I thought about stretching too. And I was like, all right, I have to be able to touch my toes. I have bad hamstrings. You've seen it. Um, <laughs> you've seen them. You've seen how tight they are. At least we know who's who. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm definitely a power bottom. Uh, and your fiance keeps talking about your dong, and I'm like, I, I, I bet he has a piece on him. I don't need to know. We don't need to elaborate. And, she, and then she'll do the rolling stop of like, yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's good. I'm like, like okay, that. cool. Yeah. I bet. Um, I just try harder. That's my romantic game. I'm gonna go. Uh, but like, I was like, all right, er, every like quarter, I got to be able to touch my toes or something like that. Put a date on. <laughs> touch them once a week. Or, once no. a month, once a quarter. Oh, dude, I'm so far right now. Like, I'm probably in the worst. I'm the most inflexible I've ever been, probably right now. Yeah, most people are. And it's not. You could honestly, uh, if you stretch to touch your toes, like you do it three times a day for like two or three weeks, you'll be able to do it. Yeah, three times a day is a lot. Take five minutes each time, maybe. But it's not. It's but not, don't do just your hamstrings. I know. Yeah, I, I got to figure something out to make that one smart. Because if, that, it's God, not good enough, you know. If I got the energy, I should just do what I do. My sh- whatever it is, fourteen minutes. The stretches I do, yeah, where I'm make, like, this is what I. It makes me feel good if I do it all the time. So yeah, make it a minute count. I like to put all right times three hundred and sixty-five. You might miss a day, you know, but the idea is fourteen minutes a day, kind of breakdown. Yeah, sure, you could do it that way. And then I got to roll over all Spend the ones. the first month of the 2022 stretching. I failed. I'm good. I failed on a lot of my goals from 2021. Uh, so I'm going to roll those over into this year. Oh, like your minutes on your cell phone. Uh, I didn't do that. Oh, you use them all up. What? <laughs> roll over minutes. Oh, I was like, huh? I thought you were talking about screen time. I was like, I don't even know how to yes and this. No. I can't believe you didn't get my 2004 joke. Well, look, we 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 talk via Slack, so I don't have to waste those texts of after nine o'clock. Ah, nice. Yeah. Um, uh. but the next one we do, uh, just you and I. Next episode, we'll do our goals list, and uh, y'all should bring yours to the table. Make them. Smart. Who are you talking to? You. Oh, okay. All right. What about and my them? sweat equity? Bye. Sweat equity. Sweat, 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 sweat equity. My sweat equity. My, my sweat equity. What about my sweat equity?